Hello, I'm Brother Eddie Coleman with the Tornado Apostolic Church. Welcome to our morning devotion. I'd like to speak to you about prayer today. Prayer is the key that unlocks the door. I'm going to be reading several scriptures today, talking about some men and women of God. And I'd like to read in 1 Corinthians 16:11. It says, seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face continually. You know, if you have your mind fixed on God all the time, it's easy to pray without ceasing. And the Bible does tell us to do that. We should be heavenly minded. Every moment, every day, as we work, as we labor, as we play, we should still have our mind fixed on God so that we say the right things and do the right things, look the right way. You know, the Bible talks about coming uh, meekly unto him and humbly and uh, to love our neighbor, uh, you know, to find a place of understanding and knowledge. Sometimes people say things and do things that hurt our feelings and, and we don't understand. But rather than get all upset and mad, we need to ask the Lord for some understanding why that person is acting the way they are. And then maybe we will react in a different way that will cause them to change their attitude about you. A lot of times we have people acting off of things they've heard, things they think they saw, or something that uh, didn't amount to a hill of beans. Um, we just don't seek the Lord as we should, and we don't keep God in our heart, like the Bible says, to pray without ceasing. Now, Matthew 7, 7 says to ask... And it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. How can we expect to find or to have something opened when we don't seek God? If we have a daily prayer with God, and not just one time a day, but throughout the day, we're talking to the Lord. It makes it so much easier to ask for the right things when we are spiritually walking with God because we have an understanding and a knowledge of God in our heart. But if we are continually seeking the things of the world and busy gathering up things of the world, you know, it's like... Uh, the cares of life is so important that we're doing more of those things than what we are, the things of God. So what's going to be on our mind? That's how we become worldly minded rather than heavenly minded. Prayer does make the difference. Matter of fact, that's what it takes to make a change. Matthew 2641 says, watch and pray. Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. Well, you know what? We all are tempted. There's temptation all around us. The enemy of our soul is doing everything he can to rob us, to cause us to stumble and fall. That's why we are to watch out for those things that produce us evil. Those things that work to no good, so to speak. Be watchful. You know what? We can see these things before they start to take place. Watch and pray that we enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing but the flesh is weak. So we've got to realize 
doesn't make any difference how close we think we are to God. Spiritually, we can be close. But physically, we can be very weak if we give in to the flesh and the ways of the world and what the flesh desires. Well, it's not long until there's not any prayer going up. And we're not prayerfully minded. And we're sitting around wondering why did this happen and why did that happen and why did so-and-so do this? I'm going to do this back. We start believing that I'm supposed to do unto others before they do unto me. And that's not what it says. If we say it too many times, we'll believe it. Remember, birds of a feather, feather flock together. You will become what you surround yourself with. That's why it takes prayer to unlock the door. In Luke 18, verse 1, And he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Folks, when you've tried everything else and everything's failed, prayer will make the difference. A matter of fact, I like to try prayer first and then not have to suffer through all the other things that fail me. Prayer unlocks the door. It makes such a difference in our life. Ephesians 6.18 says, Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit. It's hard to pray in the Spirit if you don't have the Spirit. Think about that. A lot of people claim they have the Spirit, but they don't really have what they claim. There are signs that show when someone is a spiritual person. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit and watching. There it is, watching again. Thereunto with all preservance and supplication for all saints. Am I my brother's keeper? Yes. I'm supposed to watch out for the other saints. Praying for them. Not using gossip. Backbiting. Telling everything I know. Even if it is the truth. You know, there's some things you go to God in prayer and no one else. Prayers that's been answered. We can look back in the Bible and find different people who walked with God. But we want to make mention that all these people were just people like you and I. There was nothing super about them. They were God-fearing people. Some of them made some many mistakes. Some of them made a few. But they was people just like you and I. Moses in Exodus 15, 24. And the people murmured against Moses saying, what shall we drink? I mean, here you've led us out here and it is a desert. What are we going to do? What are we going to drink? And they murmured against him. That's complaining against him. Found fault in him. He was their leader. And he cried unto the Lord, and the Lord showed him a tree, which when he had cast into the waters, the waters were made sweet. And they were able to drink the water. But that's because there was prayer made. Not going around in circles saying, oh my, what am I going to do? Well, we've got to look around and see if we can find some fresh water. We've got to do this and we've got to do that. You know what? He turned to the source. He turned to God and prayed. Gideon, Judges 6, 39. And Gideon said unto God, Let not thine anger be hot against me, and I will speak but this once. 
Let me prove, I pray thee, but this once with a fleece. Let it now be the dry, only upon the fleece, and upon the ground let there be dew. And God did so that night, for it was dry upon the fleece only, and there was dew on all the ground. God hears and answers prayer, and especially when it's on time. That's right, his time. He knows when to do it, and it's on time. we got a lot of things that goes through our mind and our heart, and many times we're not sure what time it really is because we do everything else but the right thing. But when we talk to God, when we pray without ceasing, we have a prayer in our heart. God begins to open up those doors of understanding. And gives us direction. Hannah. 1 Samuel 1 27. For this child I prayed. And the Lord hath given me my petition. Which I ask of him. Samuel. 1 Samuel 7, 9, And Samuel took a suckling lamb and offered it for a burnt offering, holy unto the Lord. And Samuel cried unto the Lord for Israel, and the Lord heard him. God hears every prayer. He answers in his time. And if we're faithful unto him, He's faithful unto us. There are so many scriptures about prayer, how we need to have prayer upon our heart, in our mind. First thing we need to do when we begin to rise in the morning is to thank the Lord for another day. Give him praise and glory. He'll help your attitude. He'll help you change to that soft, meek, humble person rather than our old grouchy grouch that finds fault in everything that's going on. Hey, most people have aches and pains sometime or another. And you know what? Many of them are in what we call disability and can't help themselves even. But yet, there are those that will praise God that will thank him for another day. For this is the day that God hath made. I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. So as we leave you with this devotion today, we hope that you'll search the Bible over and find those. Oh yes, there was times when it seemed like God didn't answer the prayers of some of these people. But if you read far enough, you'll see where God came on the scene and he made a way. He answered. He turned things around. He changed things. God is still God. And he's still on the throne. He's coming back someday for his people. Will you be ready? Lord, we thank you for your word. We thank you, Lord, for this opportunity. Lord, we can call upon your name. Lord, we want to give you praise, glory, and honor. Lord, we want to give you thanks, Lord. God, for all the good things for all the bad things, for we know that all things work together for the good to those that love the Lord. God, I love you and I thank you. And we give you praise in Jesus' name. And everyone said, Amen. You have a wonderful day.